I'm Owa Usa, back with more Back to the Future. <laughs> Yay! Alright. Wait. What made the game shift? Oh well. Oh lordy. Alright, Monday, October 12th, 1931. I'm Orwa Usopp, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Yes, I'm actually having to replay this because of botched recording. Thankfully, I saved. Uh, so... <clears throat> yes. What was blind is now Mr. not Callahan? completely blind. What can I help you with? Well, I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her... Wait. ...some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. Yes. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Qualified? Lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. Are they? I don't know. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? Whoa, was he there a minute ago? We simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? Dude, but try you're telling it judgmental. To this She's got him completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Still, I could get her discharged if I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. All right. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. Let's go talk to Q-Ball. How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. One of these then days... kindly let me pass. I'm afraid I can't. Until I've located your registration form. Oh, this is absurd! Anyway... Uh, as I said, one of these days I'm going, I swear to God, I'm going to learn to just, I don't know if I have to put a big old tattoo on my, well, putting a tattoo on my forehead won't help me, because I can't see it, but I need to remember to turn the mic, make sure I always unmute the mic before I, I have various Please. reasons for I'm muting the mic. i find my wheels somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Cue ball. Hey, pal. Oh, jeez, this guy again. Funny, I was going to say the same thing. What's with his teeth? Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Sense of the community and whatnot. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Because Little Miss Goody Two-Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. Aw, it's sad how they forget their friends. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Yeah. Angry. Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Ooh, really? my socks, oh, goodness. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just, well... Stink don't it smell? It just cheeses me off, you know? Cheesies, huh? What kind of stuff have they got you all in here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Greek, huh? Or Roman. What's hey, with his teeth? What's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. He's kind of dodgy about his teeth. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing. I, I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? <laughs> It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A 
crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. I was, I don't know, they turned my teeth green. Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't wrap me out the Audi, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Yay, free algae cakes. Yuck. That's almost as bad as tofu. You know what? I think I'd rather eat algae cakes than tofu dogs with soy cheese. You talk funny, mister. Let's go around greening up people's teeth. How about an algae cake? Yes, I am feeling a bit peckish. Where the hell did you get that crap? The expo. Huh, cue ball seems to like them. Oh well. Run! Run! How about an algae cake? One doesn't normally think of algae as a dessert item, but, uh, what the hell? Well, it's got a very, um, unique flavor. Yay, green teeth, everybody. Green. Green. How about an algae cake? Much obliged. Mm. Mm. That was different. Man, it seems like Cue Ball's the only one who likes these things. Maybe they're only appetizing to thick headed people. How about an algae cake? Don't mind if I do. Not bad. Algae, I was right. You say? I'm going to suggest that they add that to the menu at the orphanage. Hmm. Well, that was fun. But I wasted time. Mostly because even though I've done this before, I've only hey, done buddy. it once before. Oh, good. He's back. And it's kind of good that we didn't get this one, uh, re that one kept, because I was so so wandering well, around a lot. About past. Yeah, what? Yeah, like I'm going to tell you. Yes, you are, or I'm going to kick you in the head. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? All right. Last year, I drove a train off a cliff. Why'd you do that? You know, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure. It's a... <laughs> Long story. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. <whistles> Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? No, I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'm I'll just use it for the greater good. I'm just gonna advance oh. the plot. Okay. I promise. You have my word. Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. Varying degrees of incarceration. I love it. Stay out of trouble, cue ball. That's what I'm trying to do. Hasta luego. All right. It's really a shame to get her fired, but you know what? It's all part of the plot. I wonder what Marty has to say about the postcard. Trixie sure got some nice uh, antlers. This is definitely something Edna wouldn't approve of. Dude, she's even wearing one of those two cats. That's just awesome. Here you go, Edna. Disapprove of something. You might want to take a look at this. Oh dear, what Edna disapproves of something. I'm interested in. Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir, Mr. McFly. It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh no, no, no! What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. Yep. I don't care if she was once the winsome wench of Winnipeg. 
Your past doesn't matter to... Trixie? Is she jealous of the moose? Is he jealous of the moose? You know I don't like to pry. But what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? Are you firing me? I don't want to. Here, take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Let's talk. Yay! Oh, I still feel bad, even though I got her on my side. Give Trixie everything she needs? I don't know what she needs. Well, I know what she needs, but you don't. And I'm pretty screwed when I get to the next scene, because I got stuck like a big, fat, stuck monkey. Oh, my God. Trixie? Not even the hints could save me. I'll do it. I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out. That's great. I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows oh, up... we gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Parlamaid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Yeah! Okay. Yeah! Only, I need a few props. What do you need? Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. Yes, and it something does. something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Yeah, I assume so. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Fur fly. Well, if I'm bringing you a fur, you're going to make it fly. That's pretty impressive. Hi, Trix. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Possibly. Well, it would be fun to watch, but it wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs Not and yet. the diamond? And your friend's photo album? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. You got it. Hi, <laughs> Trix. Wait, I didn't... Oh, I did not... I didn't choose to talk to her. I, I, I didn't do it. choose to do it the first time either. I don't know what the heck. I guess I just bumped into her and that initiated it. But dang, that was annoying. A diorama! To experience future Hill Valley, circa 1981. 1981! <laughs> I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. <laughs> 1981. The century looks bright for our fair metropolis. Does it? Jump with us 50 years into the future for a peek at Hill Valley circa 1981. Courtesy of Al's hardware and the collective imagination of mankind. Could this be our venerable town square? Yes, indeed. Though the form looks strange and new, the function remains the same as ever. But where are all the people? Why, they're underground. Goodness. A network of burrows extends a mile into the earth, giving future Hill Valley's 10 million citizens plenty of space to work, play, and raise their families. But if they want to come to the town square, they have to come to the surface. Of course, our residents will want to venture forth into the fresh air occasionally. And what better excursion than a pleasure ride in this elevated super train of tomorrow? Goodness. Agricultural advances will make it a breeze to feed our burgeoning population. Tired of waiting for Mother Nature to do her job? Just press a button. Presto! An artificial rainstorm drenches the valley's thirsty crops. Wow, 1981's gonna be awesome! And after the rain, what else? An artificial rainbow, reassuring all the good people of Hill Valley that their needs are taken care of, and life is sweet. <laughs> Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley! And the Expo 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 would like to remind you <laughs> that you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality at the heart. At yep. Hardware. Howl's Hardware. Serving our fair city since 1895. Dang.
<laughs> Even if this game is set in 1930-something, that's all... Or, wait. Yeah, 1930, this is a... The choo-choo of the future. Oops. My future wouldn't be built so shoddily. Uh, hi, Miss Strickland. I was just... Break what you like, Mr. Callahan. It's no skin off my nose. Just keep away from Emmett's booth. Speaking of whom, I'd better go see what's keeping him. Um, That's not a positive attitude to have towards other people's stuff. 